All right, so I am currently, I'm trying to fix that right there, I'm currently filming, it's December 10th when I'm filming this, and uh, well, I guess you can imagine, it's actually kind of cold. We got snow on the ground, as you can see around me. Uh, and I am freezing. It's not, it's not that bad, actually. It's, yeah, it's minus eight. Uh, but it's uh, no, it's, it's it is winter now in Canada. So unfortunately, seeing that golf club and that's then the last part there, and now uh, now jumping straight into to walking outside to minus eight and, and snow does, definitely does hurt a little bit. Um, but like I said, there's a new golf simulator, so that should be fun. We'll see. All right, guys. All right, so I just got to Walmart here, but while I was driving, um, I started thinking. Does anybody else, like, like hear the song, like, uh, Carol of the Bells, Trans-Siberian uh, Orchestra, or, like, Christmas Eve, Sarajevo, b by Trans-Siberian Orchestra? Orchestra? Why am I saying that so weird? I... Um, and just, that song just not get you pumped up and put you in the Christmas mood? Like, am I the only person that feels that way? I can't be. I cannot be the only person that feels that way. There has to be other people out there that just, that song just pumps you up, puts you in the Christmas mood. All right, I know I'm not. You know, as much as I hate to do this, because this was the person that I got compared to the most when I was younger, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a clip in the next scene. But I almost, I almost, I really, really don't want to say what I'm about to say, but I almost feel like Dwight with the way that that song pumps him up clip coming in the next scene. Next scene. Next whatever. I'm not the only one, right? Although it does feel really weird to compare myself to Dwight. That's something I never thought I would do. After it's happened, like, people compared me to him before. And I was like, no. And now I did it to myself. No. Um, but, just got back. Got the whiteboard in back there. Got the bin for the, uh, for the stuff I need to put away. Got everything. So, let's get back home and get to the main topic of this video, which is taking me forever to get to. Alright? Let's go. guys so we're finally back we got everything we need to get and I've just spent some time doing this out rather than doing this on the fly I, I wrote everything out uh, ahead of time so I can sort of show you everything about it now so um, we're, I'm gonna show you sort of uh, the this entire chart that I've done up here uh, is sort of how you want to is, is how I'm calculating everything so I'm just I'm gonna flip my microphone around so I noticed in the last video that it wasn't great um, it's it's a cheaper microphone, so I do need to 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 do some stuff to it. So I'm gonna flip this around right quick, and then we will show you uh, everything that I just worked on. Okay. All right. So hopefully this works out with the microphone here. It's a little bit unorthodox, but we'll see. Um, and I'm sorry about the light. I know there is a bit of a glare there with it, um, but I don't have anything sort of to cover that right now. And where the light in my room is directly above me right now, I don't have. If I turn this, you know, if I turn that off, it's gonna be you know, covered in shadow. Nah, it's not that bad, but we'll keep a we'll keep a little bit of light on it. All right. So basically, this is the way that I've been calculating my my macros for the last little bit. So I'll show you this right here. So I currently weighed in at I simplified it 193 pounds, and with that, so where that's my my current weight. There's a, a scale here, as you can see. So we have 14 on one end, and we have 16 on the other, and this is sort of your activity range. So if you're living a, you know, very uh, sedentary lifestyle, you're not, you know, desk jobs, glass classrooms, school, everything like that. And, you know, you're not, um, 
you, you know, you, you have some light exercise and stuff like that, you're going to be closer to, um, to your 14. Um, whereas if you're like, I was in the summer where I was a caddy and I'm walking 40 plus kilometers a day and I'm, you know, burning thousands of calories and I'm just, I'm, I'm constantly moving, I'm constantly going, then I would have been closer to 16 there. So you have to find sort of your, your range in there. Uh, and you have to be honest with yourself. Um, so although I do go to the gym and I work out, I would put myself at around a 14 and a half. Um, maybe that's a little bit low uh, and I could go closer to a 15 because my, you know, where I am still working and, and my job requires me to, you know, sort of be up on my toes and I'm not sitting around, but I do spend, you know, other portions of my day um, sitting, you know, whether it's in class or writing exams or whatever, thing like that. So I'm going to put myself in that sort of 14 and a half. I'm still, you know, semi-active with the gym and with my job and everything like that, but I'm not, you know, going all the time. Um, so what I'll do now uh, is I take my body weight, and this is where the formula for it. So it's, uh, this is your formula for your maintenance calories, and, and I should have explained that before, sorry. Um, but maintenance calories are how many calories you need to burn a day for your body to do just the basic um, sort of functions that, you know, you're through your day-to-day -day activities. So that's how many calories you need for things like getting dressed, showering, you know, stuff like that. How many calories your body needs for, you know, to pump blood and keep your brain and your heart and your lungs all working. And, you know, any physical energy you expend throughout the day. So if you burn 25, if your maintenance is 2,500 calories and you burn 2,500 calories a day, then you should expect your weight to stay the same. So for my maintenance, um, I'm 193, multiply that by 14.5, which gives me 2798.5. So for the ease and convenience, I rounded that up to 2800 calories. Now, sort of what you have now, you have the second scale. When you're, you're trying to cut down, you can, you know, you're going to take in less calories to, to burn fat and to, and to lose weight. And when you're bulking, you're going to bring in more. So you can toy around with the number. Um, you can go a little bit higher than 500, you can go lower. It, it really depends on the situation and depends on sort of what works for you. If you need to lose more weight faster, you know, you could go 550. I wouldn't recommend going anything higher than that. Um, just to, it, that gets it and you're, you're into a sort of a really, you know, difficult spot trying to burn, um, you know, 600, 700 calories a day. Um, and that can take a, you know, that, that definitely plays in on you, especially if you're prepping for something. Um, you know, you will start to feel that towards the end. Um, and if you go, don't take enough off, well, you're not going to see changes very quickly. So my general, I put it 400 for my last cut, and that worked fine. So I'm going to do 500 this time. So so for my cutting calories, I'm going to take in 2,300 a day. Uh, my maintenance is 28, and if I was bulking, I'd be in around 33. There's a little bit high. Um, I feel those are a little bit high, but they still, they're well within, you know, a, a comfortable range for me. Um, so with that being said, my calories, um, which we'll come over here for, that I want to take in, and I have all the other stuff done out here too, but I want to take in 2,300 uh, calories a day. So now we're going to talk about calculating everything else. So we're going to come down here and we're going to calculate our, our protein and our, uh, our fat. So first for our protein, um, we're again going to use a formula, so it's going to be body weight by a range is equal to the, the grams of protein. And the range is going to be down here. So at, you have 0.75 grams of protein to 1.25. And your 0.75 grams will be sort of your 25% body weight, or 25% body fat and above range um, in and around here. And as you slowly start to get down to less and less and less, um, you're going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be adding more protein in. Um, your, you know, 1.25 grams of protein, that's going to be more in line with somebody who's like sub 10% body fat, about to go compete in a show or something, and, and they're getting ready to step on stage. They're going to need more protein. Um, I say you're, so you're sub 20% body fat in and around here. Um, and with that, you know, so that would be where the majority of people are going to lie is within sort of this little area, um, right in there. And I put myself in at 1.1 grams. So again, the formula, you have 193 uh, times 1.1 is equal to 212 grams of protein. So that's what I put up here. 
and the same thing works with the fat. So it's your fat, uh, your body weight times a range is equal to your fat. And the, the range for the fat is the same thing. So you have 0.3 grams on one side and you have 0.4 grams on the other side. And basically the sort of the way um, you can look at it and um, is your 0.4 is people who really like to have the you know fats in their diet, which are necessary. You do need to have fat in your diet, um, but they're the ones that you know you you love your uh, you love the nuts, um, you know, butters and and oils when you're cooking and stuff like that. On the other side, you have the point three, and these people are more reliant on carbs, um, and the you know so your you know your your carbs and your carb foods like you know your rice, your pasta, your rice cakes, stuff like that. Um, I myself, whenever I'm doing it, I put myself sort of dead in the center at the at the, the 0 0.35 grams, um, just because I like a mixture of both. I like my carbs, but I also like to add some, you know, if I'm cooking a steak, I you know, might throw in a little bit of, of olive oil or something like that. Um, so that's where I put myself there. So same thing, 193, just erase that, but 193 um, times 0 0.35 gives me 68 grams of fat. And that goes up there. So and I've shown this before, uh, I've been showing it, but I haven't actually sort of uh, zoomed in on it. And one gram, I know this is kind of backwards, um, but one gram of protein is equal to four calories. One gram of fat is equal to nine calories, and one gram of carbs is equal to four calories. So if we take our 212 grams of protein, multiply that by four, we get 848 calories. And if we take our 68 grams of uh, fat and we multiply that by 212 um, grams, or, or, to, or multiply that by um, 9, we get 612 calories from fat. And now we're going to use both of those to help calculate our carbs. So uh, down here, this is sort of the, the, the carb formula. And we have protein plus fat is equal to be our protein plus fat calories. And then we're going to subtract that from 2300, which is the number we got up here for our the, the amount of calories we want to take in each day. So uh, 848 and 612 is 1460. Uh, 2300 minus 1460 is 840. And then what we're going to do, I almost tripped on a monitor in front of my bed there, but um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take that 840 and we're going to divide this by 4. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us our grams of carbs. So we have 200 grams of carbs. So I pulled everything down here. So based off of these calculations here, I'm going to be looking at 200 grams or 212 grams of protein, 68 grams of fat, and 210 grams of carbs. And, and sort of this is the way to this is the way that I've been doing it out. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean it's the best way. Um, it doesn't make it you know that this is the way you have to do it but this is the way that I found that's worked for me in the you know the times that I've been dieting down um, now with that you know looking at the 68 grams of fat that's a little bit high um, I probably wouldn't need about 68 grams of fat normally in uh, an average day I'm eating between 50 and say 55 um, so I may have some more room for carbs but the other beautiful thing about your macros is, is that as you're going through a diet you can adjust them uh, to help, you know, to, to more reflect you at a current point because your physique is going to be constantly changing whether you're putting on weight or you're taking it off. It's going to be changing, so you, you know, you can adjust them, you know. Uh, and that's why I keep the book over there that has the, um, that has all of my, my daily progress in it so I can see if there's a trend developing of, well, I'm staying the same, I'm not losing any weight, or I am losing weight. So, sort of that's why... Uh, I do that so I can see if there's a trend and then change my macros based off of that. So I'm going to flip the camera around now and get the microphone all set up, but then I'll sort of just sort of conclude and, and finish up talking about what I just started there. All right, so I hope that that can be a little bit of a help. It looks a lot more confusing than it actually is. It's really not that bad. Um, once you once you do it a couple of times, you get used to it. And like I said, it's it's definitely can be intimidating when you start to think of well, well how many should I how many pro, how much protein should I have how much fat should I have how much you know it's that's the basic formula that's not what I'm currently on I don't have I have it set in my phone as and my fitness pal is sort of what um, the ranges are that I'm looking for each day but 
Um, I don't have that on me right now. Uh, and I, you know, I could go with those there. I'm going to stick with the ones that I had when I started back a week ago or 10 days ago. And if I needed to, um, I could adjust them again, similar to the way that I showed you. But the way that I just showed you there is the exact way that I calculated my, my current macros that I've been using for the, f the first 10 days of this cut. And although this came out a little bit later than I would have liked it to, this is indeed the way that I would um, go about and I would do uh, my macros for any of these. So I hope that that, can, I hope that that can help you. I know I went over it pretty quick, but that's just because I know this video is going to be a little bit long as it is. Um, so if you have any questions, any concerns, anything that I didn't explain well enough, leave a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to, uh, to explain it and answer it and if I and if I need to go over sort of anything again um, I can always I, you know, I just picked this up tonight so I'll, I'll always have this here and we'll always be able to do that um, and um, so yeah so if you have any questions leave a comment in the set in the comment section below hit that like button it really helps me it really helps the channel if you enjoyed what I showed you guys today then hit that subscribe button we'll have more content coming out in the future once again guys I like thank you for watching take and yeah, I got tongue-tied towards the end there. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.